welcome to Island Hooking again. Um, I know some of you have been asking me about the Usuri 3D Prism lure as well as that Mag Darter. And I know some of you guys was wondering which lure was better or what's the pros and cons. So I did purchase those lures and I did try them out. And there is a difference between each lure. And the one, the first one I tried out was this one. This is the Usuri, the uh, 3D Prism. It has a nice shine to it. Um, looks pretty neat. Um, it has semi decent heavy duty hooks, which I, I like. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be though. It's not two ounces, it's less than that. Uh, but it looks heavy, but it's not that heavy. Uh, and it does go down about three feet when you when you um, retrieving it and it goes on pretty fast so you have to be careful if you're running in a shallow area I would not recommend really um, um, using it in a shallow area because you might actually get the lure stuck because it'll float but it only float for just a maybe you know five six seven eight seconds and then it'll start, start to go down already and start to go to the bottom so it's not really a made to float so the question is would a Yuzuri float? No it's a slow it's actually a slow sinker. It'll float a little and then it'll start slowly going down to the bottom. So it doesn't really float. It just floats for a little while, as you can see. And then after that, it starts to go down slowly, slowly, slowly. But I'm sure if you use this on a, on my on the kayak or on the boat, this would be fantastic, you know, because it does have a nice tight wiggle to it, which I like. Um, only problem with the 3D prism, the Usuri, is that I don't like the way it the way it um, flies in the air. Um, it's not consistent. It doesn't always fly straight, and if there's wind, a crosswind, this floor since it's semi light, it'll it'll wobble in the sky and it won't land um, nicely and it won't go far um, but if there's no wind and or maybe the wind's towards your back then you have a good chance of getting this lure out there um, but consistently not the best so um, that's my pet peeve about this lure and I, I wish they had a, that weight transfer system within it then this lure would be really really fantastic and maybe that's something you really might want to think about and i'm really surprised that they didn't um think of doing it with this lure but this is such a nice lure you know i had such high hopes really um to try the yuzuri the 3d prism so let's see how she works it's the first time using it so kind of excited test run this baby today That doesn't help. Uh oh, turtle, get out of the way, turtle. Okay, well, I can feel the sideward action already to the tip, so that's, a, that's good. Let's try it again. Huh. Okay. Already you can see what's wrong with it already. It's not really well balanced. As you can see, it flops in the air. But she swims well. Swims well. And like I say, it's a great lure. It swims well. It just doesn't fly that well if there's wind. No wind, not too bad. Um, but if there's cross winds like that, man, this thing just flops all over the air. And, you just lose distance with it, you know, and after a while you just kind of give up with the lore already. So that's the only thing I don't like about the Yuzuri, the 3D Prism. But, after that I tried the, um, the Mag Darter, which I gotta say, um, I like. Um, the reason is, is it is a heavier lore, it's heavier than the, the Yuzuri, it's about 2 ounces. So it does fly far. Even with the heavy winds, it flies far, and it'll fly. Um, it's, uh, and, and it's very, it's more consistent than the 3D Prism, the Yuzuri. It also has a magnetic weight transfer system within it. So 
this was made for casting shoreline and the hooks are even more heavier duty than the usury so i like it and it and it dives deep about three feet too and has a nice wiggle as well and guess what i did have two hits with this so what can i say um you can me check out the video Oh, just missed one. Oh, I just missed one. How do you like that? There he is. He's right on the bottom there. I'll try to go for it. Try to go for the mag darter. <laughs> wow. I think I have to bring out my um, SP Mino. I think that mag darter is just too big for him, I think. But he went for it. He went for it. There he is, there he is. Oh, he missed it again. Um, you see that I got two hits. They didn't bring him up, unfortunately, but you know, something was going for it, so that's a plus. And I always wanted a heavy duty lure from a big pole, because all, because all of the lures that I have is for the top of the surface. I don't have one that actually is for that goes below the surface. So this is actually my first one for my big pole. So I'm kind of excited, you know. Uh, and I have high hopes that this will actually catch something really good. So I'm gonna keep using this lure. Um, and it, it may not be as shiny, but it, it but it shines enough, you know. It's nothing like the the dye was, but it's nice enough to where you can still see it uh, from a distance. So and it, again, it does swim nice. So what is the difference? Lighter. A lot heavier um, not as consistent in in um, in throwing and casting not like the mag darter the mag darter is much more consistent um, no weight transfer system weight transfer system uh, this one has a little better hooks than the Yuzuri they, but they both swim fantastic and they both swim about three feet deep except this floats this floats for a little while and then it starts to sink. Um, but they both, I think, would also be good on a kayak as well. So if you have a kayak or a boat, I think you, these two lures will be fine. Um, they're good. They're good. Lure. I just don't know how strong the Yuzuri is if I hit the rocks. I didn't really want to hit the rocks. But I think if I hit the rocks, this plastic might actually chip off and break off in pieces um, compared to the, the Mag Darter. Um, but they're still okay but if i had to choose i'll take the mag uh, the mag darter on again because it flies farther it can handle in the wind has better hooks um and you know it's the, the, the casting on this you know is more consistent than the usury so but that's just my two cents i mean you can still buy it um they still work fine but if you're going to go shoreline fishing i really suggest getting the mag darter and again i did get two hits with it so um, I'll keep using it and hopefully I'll, I'll catch something with it and I'll probably use this one on my, on my kayak so I like the way she swims and um, I like to shine on it too so I think this would do good on the kayak so I'll use this for kayak and I'll use this on shoreline so I hope this helps um, and if you have any questions you know don't be afraid to um, comment on my videos and if you have any products or lures you want me to test out or you or you know you want to know about if I can I'll, I'll try to make those videos for you guys um, because, you know we do test products too as well so keep watching keep subscribing and always keep island hooking